Hello and welcome back to my channel, Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I have a really fun project to share with you. I've created this trifold shutter card featuring the Dreams Take Flight stamp set and brand new Yesterday and Today paper pack just released from Close to My Heart. This video is part of a video collaboration from the creative design team where we're featuring fancy folds to share with you today. There is some serious talent in this group, so I strongly encourage you to make sure you work all the way around the collaboration because you're going to walk away with a lot of inspiration. So here's a closer look at this beautiful paper pack. This is again called the Yesterday and Today Heritage Collection. Close to my heart just released their brand new March and April catalog and this is just packed with so many awesome things. I You should see my other catalog like every page has a post-it note in it. So this is a collection. It's designed for heritage photos but you could really use this for so many things. Um, I know I'm going to definitely do some boy pages, but look at these gold foil accents and vellum accents. There's a sticker sheet. You can get the Picture My Life cards. I mean, so many fun things that are, you know, bits and pieces that you can add to this collection. There's this beautiful stamp set, and you can even get the workshop where you can create these um, pre-designed layouts here. All the die cuts and everything are already done for you. You just have to follow the blueprints and put it together. How easy is that? You could totally do your own thing too, which is what I usually do. There's also a card making workshop if card making is more your style. So for those of you that don't know, you can get your hands on one of these idea books. If you place any order in my online store, they'll send you one for free. You can also view this online, so I will leave the links in the description box below. Definitely check this catalog out either way because there are some really fun goodies in there that I know you're going to love. Okay, so let's get going on this project. So I have a piece of vanilla cardstock and it's five and a half by 12 inches long that I have trimmed this piece to. So I'm scoring it at four inches and then again at four inches. So you have three, you know, 12 inch card divided by three, each panel's four inches in width. So now I'm taking the first panel and scoring it at two inches and then I'll flip it over and take the last panel and again score it at two inches. And the center panel will just stay a solid four. So we have two and two, four, two and two. Now I'm measuring an inch and a half down and then I'm cutting from two inches to two inches or leaving two inches on each edge, I should say. So again, inch and a half down and then leaving two inch margin on either side. So you should have a piece that looks like this and now we're going to fold kind of a valley and then a mountain fold valley. And then the next panel is going to be the opposite. So see how this one goes back. This one will go forward. That one goes forward. This one goes back. And then again, the opposite on the bottom piece. I will have pictures and the measurements and everything over on my blog. So if this isn't quite making sense to you, be sure to check that out and I'll have better visuals that you can look at. So I'm just kind of smoothing all of those creases out and it should look like that from the top view. And I am going to put a solid panel on the front of my card. See here I have a solid panel. Um, some people just choose to decorate, you know, the little, the way the front looks, but I have a piece that is four inches by five and a half, and I'm going to use this Dreams Take Flight, Dreams Take Flight stamp set here. So I'm going to be doing quite a bit of stamping, so I'll just turn that mat over, and I have a scrap piece of vanilla cardstock here. I'm going to use this black exclusive inks, um, ink for my airplane here and then I'm going to die cut all these out so I can just randomly stamp them on my page. I have the pewter ink for my clouds just for a little bit of contrast and I will just put 
some of these here, I'm not quite sure how many I'm going to use on my project. So we'll just stamp a collection of clouds. This is a larger size and they have a smaller size for some, you know, variety in contrast. So we'll get a couple of those guys on there. And then I can just secure my coordinating die cuts into place and then run these through my Spellbinders die cutting machine. So I also have this beautiful piece of paper from the Yesterday and Today collection, and I'm going to use that stitch bracket to cut out a piece of that. So I have all my pieces here, and I have trimmed this down to three and three quarters by five inches. So I have a white margin around this side, and then this little brown pattern paper here is, I'm dovetailing the bottom. This is an inch and a half by five inches in length, and I'm gonna secure this to the left-hand side of the card front there. And then I have my little stitch bracket piece, and this will go front and center and just be kind of a little spot for my airplane to rest to really highlight that and create some layers. So we'll put my clouds up in the sky and then my little airplane here. And since I want my clouds kind of fluffy and floating, I thought it would be good to use some foam tape to put on the back of this one. My second cloud, I'm gonna just put flush to the paper be because I wanna pop up my airplane. So I want some different in difference in the heights there. So that one will go flat and then I'll just um, use these foam squares to pop up my airplane and just give it, you know, just, I don't know, it makes a huge difference for some reason when you use the dimensional foam adhesive to pop these little elements up. It just has such a cool look to it. Kind of creates a little shadow underneath and brings some life to the card. So I'm just going to get that situated front and center there. And now I want to bring in one of these sentiments on the bottom here. This one says, life is a grand adventure. I like to put it down and make sure it's going to fit first and then pick it up with my block and now I can ink up my stamp. I'm gonna practice on a piece of computer paper first just to make sure. You'll notice I rubbed my, my adhesive gum eraser um, on there and that really helps kind of, you know, get the new stamps ready to take up the ink a little bit better. So that turned out perfectly there and my front panel's all done. So I thought it'd be a good idea to adhere all the inside pieces and finish that before adhering my panel on. And I have some other sentiments on this stamp that I definitely want to include. But first I thought it'd be good to get all my, my patterned paper into place. And so I just cut everything so it would have just a slight margin around the edges there. So I'm just kind of, you know, I like the light cardstock and then the dark and then the light. So I'm just experimenting with placement there. And I definitely want to use all these sentiments. I'm making this card for my son. He's going to be graduating from eighth grade and not until May. But hey, it feels good to be ahead of the game for once in my life. So I'm going to make a few more clouds to add to the inside of this card. So I'm stamping those again in the pewter ink and then I'll die cut those out. Tape these in place so they hold still, just like so. And, and then I'll go ahead and get the papers into place with my tape runner here. And I just thought this is a perfect stamp set for a graduation card. They're such inspiring um, little sentiments on here. You know, it says, life is a grand adventure. Let your dreams take flight. You're going places and the sky is the limit. So yeah, how perfect. All very encouraging, perfect for any age graduation. And um, I like these colors too. They lend themselves well to a masculine card for my sons. That was kind of perfect. So you'll notice I just put adhesive on the front panel and not the back of this piece because you want to be careful not to glue the top and bottom right hand corners because it would interfere with how the card opens. So be mindful of that. I'm using this um, little scrolly frame to highlight another sentiment that I'll put there in the center of my card. So on this one, this 
I'm going to stamp Let Your Dreams Take Flight. I'm kind of looking forward to using this stamp set on a scrapbook page as well. My son, we went to a Father's Day fly-in and my youngest son went up in a friend's airplane and it was his first flight ever and it was just such a cool experience and I, you know, of course took a million pictures. So I know this um, little airplane and these sentiments are going to work so perfect and just be really cute for a scrapbook page to document those memories. I even think you could make a really nice um, retirement card with this stamp set or even birthday cards with different sentiments. So lots of possibilities here. And again, I'm just going to, I think I want to use all four of these sentiments because they all just work so well for a graduation card. So this one that I'm going to put down there is going to say the sky's the limit. But first I wanted to bring some more of that brown over. So you'll notice I have the brown in the left and then kind of intermittently and it carries your eye all the way through. So I have these foil um, die cuts that go along with this collection and I thought it'd be nice to add a little because it has a shiny finish that that gold kind of antique gold foil. So I'm going to put some of the stars around and I'm just not happy with where this one is. So I, I decide in the end not to use it and I just use two, one on the left and one on the right. It's kind of funny when I'm designing this card. It really is like a little mini scrapbook page, only there's no pictures on it. But, you know, I mean, the carrying and balance of the color throughout and the placement of your embellishments, and it's all really the element of design, even though it's a card. Um, cards are kind of like mini scrapbook projects. So if you're a card maker, don't let scrapbooking intimidate you. It's just a bigger project. I'm going to stamp this sentiment on a piece of the vanilla cardstock so that it stands out against the dark background um, of the brown paper. I could have heat embossed the sentiment on, you know, with white embossing powder, but I was kind of lazy and didn't want to dig out my embossing stuff. So this works really well too, just to help it stand out. So just like so. And we'll get all of these pieces adhered into place. I don't want to use too much dimension on the inside of the card because we already have several layers. So I won't put any foam tape behind these clouds on the inside. So you could totally leave the center panel where I put um, Let Your Dreams Take Flight. You could leave that blank and write your sentiment on this card, but I'm going to write mine on the back um, just because I thought the fun, the front was just kind of a fun decoration you might want to put up on his dresser or something. So I will definitely write my little sentiment to him on the back of the card. Okay, just making sure everything is in place and it's opening and closing well. And there you have it, our finished card. I love this card. It's so much fun. Like I said, this design, these this fancy fold, the tri, um, tri-fold shutter card, has been around for a long time, but it's just kind of a classic. It's fun. It's cool. Um, it it's just really stands up nicely, so it makes a really nice little decor piece to display in your, you know, wherever you have it, maybe at your office or on your dresser or something along those lines. It does stay pretty flat, but I thought it might be kind of fun to add a little mink twine to just tie a little bow and that way he can open up the ribbon and then unfold the card just for a little added, you know, something special. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. If you love all things paper crafting, like scrapbooking and card making with some fun projects tossed in, then you are going to want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will have a scrapbook process video to share with you very soon featuring this paper pack. My sons and I, along with some friends, took some really fun saloon hall type Old West photos that I know are going to look awesome with this paper pack. Be sure to check out that playlist featuring all the other artists participating in today's video collaboration. And thanks for hanging out with me today. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.